militant community was first tried out in the Dorset village of Poundbury. Here, the residents of a Welsh equivalent, Tir Coed near Swansea, have been celebrating Christmas with their very own radio station. But many who live there are unhappy that the facilities they were promised aren't yet in place. Trevor Fennick reports now from a unique community. Nestled in the woodland around Pentlegair, Tirkoid was designed to be a self-contained village, and they've built up a strong community here. Only here on 87.7 Radio Tirkoid. The villagers have set up their own radio station. It broadcasts five weeks a year, and I even spotted a familiar face guest presenting. A few streets away, and 15-year-old Rebecca Thomas is practicing for the Christmas fete. You wouldn't believe it, but she's never even had any singing lessons. The community's done a lot for me since uh, Tikoid Radio was set up. My friend took my CD to the radio. Since then, they've been requesting my songs. Uh, they've been playing them non-stop, and it's just made a lot of difference. The idea here is that the village is run by the residents, paying a yearly charge that's managed by the village trust. We have a great community here. Uh, it's, a great, it's a great village. Uh, people are getting together and we are, we've got plans to improve the, the hall. We have recently introduced Tealcoid Radio. We also have plans to improve the uh, pond in the village and we are going to introduce ducks there, which we hope will attract the little children so they can feed them. Tearcoid is modelled on the Dorset village of Poundbury. That was influenced by Prince Charles's vision of modern living creating self-contained communities rather than just tacking housing estates on the edge of towns. So that means having schools, pubs, shops, all in walking distance. But in Tirdkoid, many feel the reality hasn't quite lived up to the vision. This empty space is where the village pub should be. And this is where the local shops were supposed to stand. It's worked well in Poundbury and um, they've got all their infrastructure, they have a doctor's surgery, they have a dentist even. And uh, we just have 470 houses built in the forest, which is nice, it's a very nice uh, place to live, um, but we're still waiting for the infrastructure. But they make the most of what they do have here. It's party time and the guest of honour has just arrived. The parents here hope the new year will bring more facilities. Westbury, the company behind the village, say the shops should be up and running next year. So they might just get their Christmas wish after all. The National Lottery says it's been an inspiration.